Well, good morning. It is Saturday morning, Derby Jack here. In a nice, brisk 20, yeah, 29 or 23 or 20, whatever, in the 20s somewhere here. And it's probably like that where you are, depending on your area. It's getting cold. Um, you know, um, they made sure of that. Yeah, that's right. The the, the weather monkeys. You know, uh, this this the guys who you know who, who who spray all that stuff out of planes. You know, the I call them the raid cans of wings. You know, you know, look up and nobody looks up and say raid. No, they don't do that. No. Watching the weekend lies network you know i don't have cnn or any of that because they're just as, they're worse but i will look at the net you know uh, ab or cbs whatever the hell the alphabet is you know um anything that has an alphabet you know it usually is an evil thing you know so anyway also seeing videos about you know uh what's going on in the economic forum right Old Klaus Schwab, you know, he's get, he's getting worried because, you know, it's, just, it's a very angry world, you know, getting angry. It reminds me of a of a movie. I think it was a movie or it was a Twilight Zone. I forgot. But anyway, you know, I, I get into science fiction every once in a while. But I remember you probably may have remember it was about this young guy and, and a young girl. Now she was on one ship, and this was another. Apparently, the Earth had destroyed itself. People destroyed itself. Sounds good, right? Right. right? And, and everybody was leaving in ships, you know, but the but the ships were controlled by AI. Okay, uh, they had its own intelligence, and they kept some humans around uh, uh, because it, the AI got to the point it, it it was in the ship, and and, and it kept the humans around to fix it when it was parts were breaking down. Well, in the end, you know, the guy and the girl get together because the ships want them to have a baby, but the one thing what what really stands out in this movie and it's where I get to Klaus Schwab is that when the, the father ended up having to be killed and and the ship had this thing where they get you up there and electrocute you whenever you were bad you didn't listen to it uh, you screwed up or something you know and uh, what it was I say they kept control of it and so every generation they, they, they the individual was kept out of the loop of why, you know, the history, blah, blah. So anyway, getting to it, not to tell you the whole movie. Um, him and the girl get together, the woman comes on the ship, you know, they couple, you know, that's what they, the couple ate, you know, so they could have another. But uh, what happens in the end? The, the young man starts, you know, recognizing that, you know, he wants the girl to come back again because she went back on her ship. Apparently she got pregnant by him. And he's arguing and talking with the AI intelligence but the AI intelligence says you're like your father and you're becoming vicious that's the word becoming more vicious like your father and and and, and at the end the, the kid gets there and starts breaking the, the little balls of intelligent things and all that and, and and ends up killing the intelligence of the ship the AI but the word in the word here is vicious and I, and I go back and I think of Klaus Schwab when he says, the world is getting angry. What it's, the word vicious here and the word angry are the same word. And what it means is that people are becoming aware, becoming intelligent, uh, uh, recognizing what's going on and, real, and realizing that things aren't what they're supposed to be. Not everybody, though, is becoming vicious or becoming angry not enough see i would be considered vicious i would be considered angry to people like klaus schwab to people because they even know that you know that that there's people out there who don't like globalization people out there don't want to get get, get get involved people out there want to be left alone and and see that's a threat to the globalist people right a threat to Klaus Schwab you know Mr. Hitler as I like to call him a reincarnation of Hitler so of uh, that spirit let's put it that way not that there's reincarnation but maybe they maybe that same Hitler spirit goes into people like him you know since he is German because it's just that voice geese eat the bugs you know that so that attitude and, and, and it's like 
and people are angry. Very angry world against the elites. Well, of course, you're ruining our lives. You're, you're destroying our livelihoods. You're, you're, you're making life difficult because we don't want to get on board, but you won't leave us alone. You keep interfering, you know? You, 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 you want us to get on board no matter whether we like it or not. But we're angry. People like me, they don't like because we're too damn smart for them. We, we, we have intelligence. We won't fall anymore for their bull crap. I woke up, not woke woke, okay, not, not, not the idiotic stupid woke, which is asleep. I'm talking, I am awakened, let's put it that way. And for us people who are awakened, we're vicious. We're an angry brood, you know. They don't like us. Why? Because we're a threat to them. Not that we can go out and take them. I mean, it, it, the, the, the dream would be if I could sleep, I'd probably dream of, you know, AK-47, go with the, a, a, you know, the economic form and start, you know, uh, uh, pulling a trigger. But that's just a dream. It couldn't happen. But they don't like it because we spread, at, we spread we, we're just as dangerous because we spread information that's opposite of their propaganda, opposite of their lies, opposite of everything. Not that our, not that our, not that the things that we spread is wrong. It's actually right, but they don't like it. Why do you think they want to silence us? And why do you think they spread it? Well, these people are misinformation because, you know, they're, they're not telling the same things that we're telling. And that's a threat to what we want. And that's just it. See, I heard somebody else say, I'm not going to say who they were on video, uh, but they said that basically what uh, these people in corporation heads of, in, in all, heads of state and, and all these other, especially here in America, we got all these corporate people who go over to Switzerland and go over to the economic forum and have a meeting with them. Anybody who goes over there should be held as in contempt and also should never be allowed back in this country again or operate businesses because they're traitors. They are traitors. So any, any of you corporate people who are doing the things that Economic Forum wants you to do, you're a traitor to your own people. You're a traitor to your country. You're a traitor to society. You're a traitor to me. You're a traitor. You have traded your, 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 your good conduct for, for, for bad conduct. You have turned around and, 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 and made your business work against us. Okay, Food manufacturing people and, 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 and sale. Uh, uh, Tyson, you're a traitor. The things that you want to do, you're, you're putting bugs into food now. You're a traitor. You're, you're, you, 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 should be held, you should be held in contempt. And you should be put on trial. And your business should be should be destroyed because the food that you're serving us is pitiful and the food you're serving what about these these companies now i'm looking they're quaker oat that they uh, any any type of um uh, 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 little little candy bars or 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 or, or, or those little uh, uh nutrition bars they're all being recalled they're, they're, what, how is all this food being recalled doesn't anybody do any type of inspecting anymore no they don't and, and, and the only reason they call it because they have to recall it when it starts coming out. If it wasn't, if, if, if nothing was ever reported and people didn't know they were being poisoned by these foods, they wouldn't report it. They wouldn't take it back. They wouldn't recall it. No, they only do it when it finally, because they have to keep ahead of, uh, uh, of things. Because if people that they're trying to influence actually wake up, then, then more people will be angry more people will be vicious. They'll be more intelligent. And more intelligence is a very bad thing for the globalist elites. You know, wars and rumors of wars. Apparently America's a big bully right now because of this, you know, Israeli war and things going on. So now because ships are, uh, cruise ships and stuff like that are being invaded by Yemen, you know, uh, whatever, uh, military or whatever it is. Now they're, it, it, and also China, if, it will go to war if, 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 if certain places, you know, all this stuff is going on and yet, and yet nobody, every, well, we go to war, yay. Yeah, you know. And we're, so we're the bullies now, which make America look pretty bad. 
and, and, and stuff. But, you know, all this stuff is going on. And, 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 but not enough people are becoming awake, you know. And then you got Hollywood. They don't want to do musicals and shows anymore, you know? which doesn't. The, and the other thing that my biggest gripe has always been, why is it that people like Whoopi and all the witches of the view are commentary? I say it over and over again, all these people, uh, Ruben Ford, a couple other guys, this black guy out there does all this stuff. I don't know where he comes from. He can barely understand anything he says, but he's got this, he's got this video show and he's sitting there and, 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 and they always show, you know, what well, economic for, they always show a uh, whoopee. What does whoopee have to say today, you know, at The View? You know, like anything these witches at The View say is worth listening to, but they're the commentary. So you show the news, say, well, 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 well because, because because, you know, they got to have their words out and people need to listen to what they say. Why? I have no idea. They don't influence me. A matter of fact, if, if, I, was, if I was in a, in a position, I would close, I would take them off the air. No more poisonous witches with vipers tongues being able to say anything in front of anybody. I put them away in a rubber room. That's what they belong. And the people, you people who listen to them and think that anything will be in the, all the rest of them witches say is important, you're, you're awoke, which means you're asleep and you're dumb. You're, you're a fool. You know, you're, you're, you're idiotic. Why would you want to listen to that? There's nothing that comes out of those witches' mouths that's worth listening to. But yet, apparently, they are, and this is what's sad, they're the influencers. Think about it. They are the influencers of, of, of you people, uh, of the people out there who, 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 who believe in what they're saying as being something important. I mean, it's a shame. I mean, I, to me, I think every time you watch an episode of The Witches and anything, that comes, you are losing brain cells, and they are like a drug, a bad drug. They're a poison. They're the ones that should be recalled. You know, no, take them off the air. They're, they're spreading rumors and, you know, spreading all kinds of poisonous stuff. But see, that's the influencers. So they want these, they want you to watch them because they influence what you think. Because you don't think on your own. Oh yeah, please understand. If you are part of and you listen to watch television, you believe rolling up your sleeve is healthy, and you, you believe the science, and you, you believe in everything these monkeys say, and, and you, you don't think much of the economic forum, which are the actual influencers of what happens in your life. Most of you people don't understand. They're the ones who are controlling our country. They're the ones controlling our government. Because our government and the scientists and all that, they're the ones that are controlling Pervy Joe and Eat Boys. All, all, the, all the ones who are trying to get... So everything that goes on over here, it isn't coming out of Pervy Joe's mouth technically. He's just reciting stuff when he can remember and when he can read and, you know, when he's not falling all the time because he's, he, he's not capable... Or sniffing somebody. they got to keep him from sniffing children's hair and women's hair and, and, and groping children, you know? we got to keep him from... Because it'll look bad in front of the camera and stuff. And like, of course, Hollywood's falling apart left and right. You got Hollywood people trying to come out because, you know, yeah, they, they realize what kind of people they are and they don't want to be that type of person. Hopefully it can save face. But then again, they're getting, they're leaving. And here's another thing they've been saying on the news that because, because they say it's, it, there's a great uh, a decline in workers because it's a, a resignation. Everybody's quitting their jobs. No, it's not the people are quitting their jobs. The jobs are quitting the people. They're, 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 uh, businesses are closed down. Restaurants, which used to be back in the 40s and 50s and used to be factory workers. Well, the factory workers of today are restaurant people. You know, to, to, and, and, and so restaurants and chains are, 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 are closing left and right. 
Applebee's, uh, Red Lobster. I mean, you start closing chains like in Florida, they're closing these places left and right. People are losing their jobs. Businesses are closing because of because of infiltration of people coming in from the south. You know, you get a city where where or you got young people, you know, smashing windows and stuff. You get to a point. I'm getting tired. It's making too much, spending too much money. You know, trying to protect our our goods and and and, and constantly putting uh, windows back again that these kids break in and and, and also the, the the invaders coming in here from other countries and stuff like that so businesses close down it's costing too much to stay open so when they sit there on television and say oh no there's a great resignation people are sitting there and they they're, they're quitting their jobs they don't want to work no more no they can't work no more you're taking the jobs away from them I said yesterday here in Nashville, they're doing a little experiment. They got this big robot now that can make your coffee. You don't need to hire anybody and worry about tips and all this other stuff. And so what's happening? Sorry, my nose is. So what's happening is people can't work no more. And then when they do quit, they work, they quit like me. I got tired because we used to in, in restaurant business we used to depend on young people. I'm a manager and I'm doing the work that the young people supposed to do. I'm supposed to be watching over them. But now I'm the manager and the crew because we can't hire anybody. And so why would you want to go? And I had no days off going for year after year after year to say my body's wore out. My body is dead, dying on me. I can't continue doing this. And so that's what's happening out there. When people do quit, it's because it's unbearable. They can't work anymore. It, they're tired of working in a, in a sweatshop. People here are being treated like kids over in Africa, you know, digging up uh, a gold and, and, and silver and, and, and diamonds and stuff like that, you know, uh, m making a penny a day. That's what America's become, a sweatshop, when you do have a job. And, 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 and so people like me, I, I had to leave. Now I'm trying to get, I'm, I have taxes, I, 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 you know, I paid my taxes, my dues, I, had to hire. I had to. I had to retire early because I. I just can't do it no more. My, my back is bad. My. I'm going blind. You know, slowly going blind. And and I. I. I don't have insurance because the insurance companies lie to you. They want money from you. They say it's supposed to be free and all this other stuff, but yet they want to take money from you. So I. 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 I, I don't have insurance. I, I had it and I had to get rid of it. Went went to an eye doctor and, and they wouldn't take my insurance. So why have insurance that they don't take? And, and now they don't, when I finally tell them, well, why do you want to, it's like now I got them bugging me again, you know, you need to get on shore. Don't tell me what I need to do, that's what I'm talking about. Us people who are, who are angry and vicious, we're tired of y'all telling us what to do. Telling us what we think we, we should do. Screw you, I have a mind of my own. I will do what I wish to do when I want to do it. And nobody's going to tell me otherwise unless it's moved by the Holy Spirit of God. That's my authority. Not you monkeys down here. You don't, you're not an authority over me. So you people at the Economic Forum and you people, you traitors, like I said, what, what it is, every time you go over there. And here's another thing, you, you, you people believe in old Donald Trump. He is part of the Economic Forum brood. That's right, he is part of them. So when you think you're voting in a man is going to make America great again, again, no, he's going to, he's doing exactly what they want him to do. And yet when you see pictures of him going over there and also all you people think that he's a God or he's Jesus and he's a savior, he's the one apparently that, 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 that put out this endorsement about himself, you know, God made Trump. Yeah, the God of this world. Not the Heavenly Father. He wouldn't make a piece of flesh bag, piece of crap like him. Yeah, I'm vicious. I'm angry. Because I'm tired of seeing people being jerked around. I'm tired of myself being jerked around. Uh, uh, we're tired of being lied to. We're tired of being told that we can't say certain things online and we can't do this and that. You know, I have been restricted once again on Facebook because I said something on somebody's uh, 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 platform or whatever that came across me and, and now I am shadow banned to the hilt 
on Facebook like I am here on ScrewTube because I hurt somebody's feelings. Hurt their feelings. Supposed to be a man of God. You're not supposed. No, I'm supposed to be a man of God and telling the truth. If it hurts your feelings, that means you're on the wrong side of God. Not saying that I'm anybody special. Not putting myself in the limelight like uh, old, old, old Donald Trump. No, I don't mean it that way. What I'm saying is I speak the truth, and the truth seems to hurt people's feelings. And when they get their feelings hurt, they can't handle because they don't know what to say back. Once again, people are learning what, what the globalists are teaching, right? How to silence other people. They don't agree with you, silence them. Once again, I'm going to read from 2 Timothy. I love 2 Timothy. It reminds me, I like Romans. I like all the things that Apostle Paul spoke, you know, and wrote. Oh, well, let's go to 21 verse, uh, chapter, I mean, yeah, uh, 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 chapter 2, 2 Timothy 21. If a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified and meet for the master's use, and prepared unto every good work. Flee also useful lust, but follow righteousness faith, charity, peace with them that call on the Lord out of pure heart, out of a pure heart. 23, but the foolish and unlearned questions avoid knowing that they do gender strifes. Isn't it funny, gender strifes? What do we have? We have, we have unlearned questions about whether you're a male or a female. <laughs> And the servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle unto all men, apt, teach, and patience. Makes it rough. I am very coarse. Makes it rough to be that way, because we live in a world that makes you angry. But I do, when I do speak, I speak angry in love. The agape love of God. You know, everybody always says, Jesus was sweet. No. He's where he used words like, you know, to the Pharisees, Sadducees, you know, uh, you know, hard hearted, stiff necked, you know, other words. We probably spoke when he was on the steps. Remember, I said that many, he's on the steps of the father's house, money changers and, and the Pharisee up there collecting their, their share because they're allowing it to happen on, 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 on the Holy of Holies, you know. And, and Jesus comes and he's got foam probably coming out. He's pushing over tables. He's seeing, he's seeing people up there having, go, ha having sex with goats and children and all kinds of stuff, prostitutes. And he's sitting there, you're doing this on my father's house. How dare you? You know, and, and, and every oh, but Jesus was sweet. No, Jesus was coarse when he needed to be, but he did it in love. So, in me misinstructing those that oppose themselves if God peradventure will lit, will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth and that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil who are taken captive by him at his will so for all you people out there who are woke all you people out there believe the talking heads. All you people out there are blind to who's actually running this country and other countries, right? You're all blind to that. It's right out there in front of you, but you don't see it. You only see what they tell you you need to see. And people like us who point it out, you don't want to see it because they don't tell you to see it that way, right? So in chapter 3, here we are. No, this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come we'll look around you right now wars and rumors of wars they're talking about a new very uh, uh, an x remember they, they have uh, generation x now they got a new uh, uh thing there and here's the thing that i i can't say the place but that that the, the, the ones who were working on a uh, on a new you know because of something that could break out this x thing that could break out is done by scientists 
uh, it, it basically who, who, who make things that, you know, uh, uh, military type, you know, things that, you know, I can't say because, you know, you got to be careful what you say, which I hate freedom of speech but anyway so they so so they're making new stuff in, in case you know something's floating around again an x thing so for men shall be lovers of their own selves covetous boasters proud blasphemers disobedient but here's the thing right that's what they're bringing the, the children to learn they're, they're teaching children to be that way but when i think of klaus schwab and people very very boastful man very very boastful you know, thinks he knows it all, you know. Him and his little mini-me, you know. We're going to rewrite the Bibles. AI is going to, uh, and the elites are going to take over the world. Pinky in the brain, right? Covetous, proud, blasphemers. Disobedient parents, unthankful, unholy. Without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, continent, fierce. Despisers of those that are good. That's what's going on. I'm a person of goodness. I, 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 I'm a good man. I, because, because I follow the word of God. And yet, that's dangerous. Man who follows the word of God, but don't follow the words of, of the elites. Don't follow the words of, uh, 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 of those who say they know better. They've been in the game a lot longer. They know things that you shouldn't know. And, and they and maybe because you're not worthy. You ever think about that, folks? The people who are trying to control everything makes, makes you think that you're not worthy. Who are you? Well, you may be a farmer, and, and it's better that the globalists take away your farm. You've been a farmer all your life, but you're ignorant. You're, 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 you don't deserve to have a farm anymore. You don't deserve to have cows on your pastures anymore because they're fledged and you're not doing anything about it. But they will. You, you people eat meat and it's bad for you, according to them. And yet you, you're willing to eat bugs. Willing to be like a beast of the field because they say it's better for you. And whether it's better for you or not, you, you should obey it anyway. They want to put you in 15-minute cities or, or, or even Trump wants to put you in a freedom city, which is the opposite of freedom. And when you get there, will you be able to get out? Maybe to go visit somebody across the land or what, what if they don't let you? Right now, they're, they're grounding 787, 747, whatever the hell they're, they're grounding. Because one apparently ended up a, a door opening up and, you know, things happen, you know? And, and, and so now they're grounding you. You're not allowed to fly because planes are dangerous. Then, like I said, they got the recall of all these foods all the time. Oh, you can't eat that now. It's got salmonella. How does a candy bar get salmonella in it? Did they make it out of factory? Well, I know they were processing plants that have been destroyed by Cessnas, remember? Last year or so, a plane flew into a big giant processing plant and burned it all down blew it up little plane big plant blew it up and so what are they doing are they making candy bars where they're where, where they're where they're where they're growing and, 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 and making chicken you know I mean are they are they putting it on the same conveyor belt how does Seminella get into a candy what are they doing what kind of bad practices are they doing? Maybe they're not washing their hands like the car, the car tells them to. So, so you got one person sitting here doing something with chickens, wrapping it up, and at the same time over here, they're, they're, they're using the same, they're, nobody's washing their hands. Maybe that's the contamination, cross-contamination. Traitors, traitors. That's what I'm talking about. Traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having to form a good godliness, little g. Having to form a godliness, but denying the power thereof. From such turn away. I'm trying. We're trying. Us people who are awake, we're, we're trying. We're trying to turn away, but they won't leave us alone. 
Every time we turn away and try to walk the other way, they keep coming at us and giving us a bunch of crap. Telling, no, 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 you have to get on board. Why? I don't want to get on your ship. Your ship may be sinking soon. When God comes, I don't want to be on that ship. No, you got to get on board anyway. We've got to take your land from you so we can put you in a freedom city. 15 minute city, whatever. We got to take your job away from you because you're you're not worthy to work. We'll give you we'll give you a little money on the side and you can spend it and if you don't spend it, we'll take it away from you again. And you need to be good and do what the economic forum and all the elites tell you so you'll be happy and you owe nothing and eat the bugs and just have a smile on your face and enjoy whether you like to or not. That's what they do over in Japan. You know, it's illegal to cry in public in Japan, or China and all, I mean, China, yeah. It's illegal to be sad. It's illegal to show that you, you don't like what's going on. They'll arrest you. They'll beat the crap out of you. Maybe kill you. That's coming here to a neighborhood near you. That's right, theater near you, that's what's coming. Oh, you can't be sad, you make other people sad. Be happy, eat the bugs, shut your mouth. They don't like Derby Jack, Derby Jack speaks too much. Derby Jack's against the, the, the norm. People like me, they don't like us, why? Because we, so we speak sense, common sense, and they don't like common sense. Not coming from people like us. Why? Because we see what they are. Spiritually, I see the demons. I see Klaus Schwab as being a demon. I see legion running all over the economic forum. I see traitors. Like I said, if I was, if I was in control of this country, Every time one of those uh, uh, one of those CEOs go over there to the economic forum, they wouldn't be allowed back into the country. Their businesses would actually be taken and dis and, 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 and probably given to somebody else. I, I probably take if their business I I take it away from them and give it to somebody who would run it properly. And of course, I'd probably be shot in the head because I'm a bad president because I'm not doing what the World Economic Forum wants me to do. You know people get taken out and don't, you know, in, in, who are in those levels and they start saying, I don't like what's going on. Well, you better like it or else. That's what they do to Hollywood. They start speaking out and saying, you know, you know, yeah, Hollywood's nothing but a bunch of pedophiles, you know, and, you know, all the way back to Walt Disney. But no, you're not supposed to tell the people that. Why? Because it's illegal. It's a vicious thing to say. People might get smart and become angry. Can't have a bunch of intelligent people out there spreading truth. Can't have it. For this, for of this sort, they are which, they, wait, are they, no, I'm sorry. Verse six, for of this sort are they which creep into houses and leave captive, captive silly women laden with sins, led away by divers' lust. Influencers, Taylor Swift, not only does she influence your children, she makes people money. Wherever she goes, money is made. Whenever she does her shows, money is made. Who's gonna say anything against that witch? Me, that's who. Leading your children away so they grow up and want to be little like her, little SLs like her, right? Wearing skimpy clothing and showing their bodies off like her, you know? Wanting to be like her. A sleaze ball, sleaze bag. Yeah, she looks good on the inside, but you've got to see the things that I see that per, that puniate, puniate, whatever, from her. There's a darkness in her. It's mold. Talked about that black mold that's inside people like this. 
seven, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. So what are they learning out there? Well, you're learning what the witches of the view tell you. You're learning all that stuff. Learning about propaganda and helping them spread the propaganda and believing everything they say because, you know, they're, they're in the know. So you're always learning things but never coming to truth. People go to church always learning but never come to the truth. There's a problem there, isn't there? Because they're being led away by divers lust. Look at what's happened in the church. You let one homo come in, let them stay, and another homo comes in and let them stay. And, and, and they all come in with their dresses and all come in, you know, with their, with, with their makeup and, that, and, and stashes also. And, but, you know, and, 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 and now the church is afraid to speak the word of God. Why? We got parishioners who against the word of God. So we got to be careful, right? So the ministers turn away from God's word and, 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 and act like Joe Osteen. Oh, we got to love, just love. Let me see. Now, Janice and Jambres withstood Moses. So do these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds. Economic forum. Men of corrupt minds. Retrobate concerning the faith. Nine. But they shall proceed no further, for their folly shall be manifest unto all men as their also was sooner or later the truth's going to be exposed and they're afraid of that and see people like me people who tell the truth we we don't want they don't they know the day is coming but they don't want us to expose too many people to the truth of what they're doing because people like me are very dangerous because we're angry and we're vicious against people like Klaus Schwab and the economic forum boys, right? But thou hast, I'm, I'm sorry, but they shall proceed no more further, uh, uh, for their folly shall be manifest unto all men as theirs also was. But thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long-suffering, charity, uh, patience, persecutions, afflictions, which came on to. Okay, so we go on. But continue, thou, in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. And of course, we get down to 16. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. And is profitable for what? Doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, truly furnished unto all good works. That's what I try to be. I want to be truly furnished with God's word. And if I'm angry and I'm vicious, I'm vicious because I hate to see people be led away by divers' lusts. See people being led away by untruths. People being led away by, the, the, by, by, by being blinded by what's right in front of them because they keep listening to the talking heads on TV, keep listening to the influencers and keep believing in, 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 in a false hope. Believing that these people are gonna get them out. Like you think that Trump is gonna get you out of what we're in? Hell no, it's a lie. He's a viper. He's the snake he keeps talking about. Right in front of your face, he tells you what he is. Oh, dear woman, you knew what I was when you let me in. You knew I was a snake. And I bit you, yes, and you're gonna die, yeah. You gonna let him in again? Because the first time, it looked good. It tasted good. Like I said yesterday, you are able to have them big, fat, juicy steaks when you had your picnic, you know. But now they want to give you a big, giant roach to eat and a cricket. 
Do you think he's going to change that? Like Trump's going to come back in with everything that's been destroyed, all manufacturing, everything, the minds of the people have been destroyed. How is this man going to come back in and turn everything back around? It's already been destroyed. That's a big chunk of, uh, 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 of responsibility. He ain't going to do that. But yet you people keep hoping that you will. And nobody, nobody is going to do that, no matter who they are. Because the world is going a different direction. And for you people who are hoping America is coming back again, you're an idiot. It isn't necessary. It, it isn't going to. It's not supposed to. We're in biblical times. And you better understand that. You better recognize it for what it is. Once again, I say pray. Pray for people in harm's way that if they die, they die saved. Pray for those people in Maui who are being railroaded. Television doesn't tell you. They don't want you to think about Maui. They don't care about Maui. Our government is doing nothing whatsoever but destroying those people's lands that belong to them. And they are now doing what Russia supposedly is supposed to be doing to Ukraine, right? Annexing it. That's what they're doing. They're annexing it. People who are leaving certain states in this, like Colorado and some of the open range states, the reason is they're annexing it. The country's annexing your, 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 your farm, your house, annexing your vehicles, annexing everything so they can have their globalist little ways and they're gonna make you get on board whether you like it or not. And most of you people, like I said, who have been on the drug of the view, the witches of the view, been, been, been spellbound, okay, by these people. When it's all been said and done and you're in a FEMA camp or you're in a 15-minute city or, or whatever, you're going to sit and eat, and in front of you is a plate of bugs. You're going to sit there and wonder, huh, why am I smiling and why am I happy? Everything I had is gone. Everything I loved is gone. My children are against me because I don't know why. And, 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 and everything that I believed in has been taken away from me. And, 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 and everything I, I thought was, was right became something that worked against me. And it'll be too late. Like I said, you'll be sitting there with a bowl of crickets wondering how this happened and then when the Lord makes his debut because you didn't listen to him you you weren't angry and vicious enough to turn away from all that and recognize and fight all the way to the end to keep what was yours and you gave it away you also gave away your salvation Dear Christians, you gave away your salvation. You let it go. You didn't hold on to it. You didn't care about your soul. You were worried about now. That was where your heart was, now. You, want, you wanted to keep your, 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 your things. You, you, wanted, you wanted to do what was right and was willing to give up your soul for a bowl of crickets. Give up your soul for a monkey suit. Give up what God gave you, dear Christians. Give up what God gave you. Ministers turned away from the truth of God's word and didn't do what God put you, in this, put you, put you behind the pulpit to do. You let the people go astray as you became one who went astray yourself. All you people allowed sin to take you over and control you. How you allowed your children, God's gift to you, to become witches and warlocks. And, 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 and allow the, and you people had businesses and stuff and, and allowed yourself to listen 
to the pressures of the idiots at the economic forum. You turned away from God. You turned away what was right. To get what? To do what? became an enemy of God. So, pray. That's all you got. Power of prayer. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and a sound mind. I preached it yesterday. Not enough of people are watching it because I'm so shadow banned. You guys got to spread it. I don't say this stuff to be proud. This was never my intention in, in life when I was growing up to be this, to be in a position like this. It was never my intention. And because the world changed, I had to rise up. God gave me a whatever platform, even though I'm fighting to keep on it. This is what God wanted in my life. I didn't ask for it. I didn't pray for it. But it was put in my lap. And I have suffered greatly for it. That's right. Like all of us who are trying to tell the truth, we suffer greatly. We get persecuted. People look at us and think, people watch me, and a lot of people think I'm just some idiot under a, under a derby. Right? And, 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 and I don't know crap. Because I don't speak elegantly. And yet the ones who speak elegantly are the ones sending you to hell. They speak elegantly because they have to mold certain words to make it sound good. As, as, they're, putting, as, they're, as they're making a cake and they're trying to put the arsenic in it, they got to put enough sugar in there so you don't taste the arsenic, and that's what they do. And y'all eat the cake and get poisoned because the sugar and the spice, the sugar outweighed the poison, the arsenic. So pray for me. Remember, I am a minister, a man of God. I always say that if you can give, give because it's moved by the Holy Spirit. If you can't give and it's not moved by the Holy Spirit, then pray for me. And I only want a prayer from those who are moved by the Holy Spirit to pray. Because that's the only powerful prayers that, 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 that I want. Like I said, if you give money, pray over it. I have a PayPal, GoFundMe. And both of them are working, so the GoFundMe is working. And um, if you can give, I'd appreciate it. Everything you give keeps me online, helps me fight another day, and, 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 and helps me through my music ministry. For all of you who don't know, Derby Jack Christian Blues. Um, please check, check out my music, because if they take me down here and take my other backup channel down, the only thing I have left is music, and I'm going to be speaking the word through my music. And so help me grow in that one. Help, help me beat the algorithms of the AI by pushing me, by spreading the word, by, by letting people know that Derby Jack ministry is, is on the level and, and his music and the music is on the level because as they're using the music like from Taylor Swift to put people in spells, I'm trying to use the music to wake people up. You always see in, in front of my thing, this is Derby Jack Christian Blues Music with a purpose. That's what it's all about. It's music with a purpose. They have music with a purpose to destroy the minds of your children, to take their souls. I'm trying to restore you so you keep your souls. That's the difference. So in saying all that, Heavenly Father, I thank you right now for your word. I thank you right now for the hearts to receive, Father. I thank you right now for minds to not be clouded by lies that 
to be a Christian, that you're going to be persecuted, not to shy away from persecution, Father. For all persecution and trials make us stronger when we're walking in your spirit, Father. We must protect our souls from being taken and stolen by the thief, Satan, and his dominions. So I claim obedience in the spirit, Father. In the name of Christ, amen and amen. Derby Jack out, and I hope to see you all on the other side.